This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News. An historic, bipartisan, and very long meeting on health care reform at the Blair House. With plenty of comments on both sides of the aisle, Republican Congressman Peter Roskin, who you see right there, joins us live on the phone tonight after his uh, stint at the open table. All right, Congressman, I guess the first question cutting to the chase, was anything accomplished from your vantage point during those six and a half hours? Look, any time that leaders across party lines sit and talk with one another and don't talk past one another, I do think there is value to that. And we certainly had a robust conversation. Now, that having been said, I was somewhat disappointed in that the premise of the meeting seemed to be this, that the majority that is Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid and even President Obama were basically saying, look, what's it going to take for you to vote for our bill, as opposed to going in and saying, let's, let's renegotiate this whole thing. The American public has looked at this bill. It has been well explained to them, and they don't like it. They want us to concentrate on doing two things in Washington, creating jobs and lowering costs of health care. That should be our priority. So in answer to your question, yeah, I think it's valuable, but I think that it could have been more valuable if there was an agreement to start renegotiating from the very beginning. Congressman, in the minute I've got left, I heard David Axelrod say on CNN that when the Republicans said, hey, why don't we just start over? He used that, called it a buzzword for delay. No, it's not a delay. And in fact, you know, one of the things that I think is a weakness with the way the, the majority has approached this, they've created bipartisan opposition to the bill, right? I mean, there's, de there's Democrats who have opposed and, and worked and, and uh, voted against the bill. Our approach is this. Let's break this down. If we agree that we ought to be able to purchase insurance across state lines, let's negotiate a bill that does that. If we agree that small businesses should be able to pool together to negotiate a better deal, let's do a bill that does that. I have a bill that the White House said would save $50 billion in Medicare. Let's just move that. It doesn't have to be an all-or-nothing approach. So it's not a delay tactic. In fact, it's an invitation to help the president meet his goal. In 10 seconds, will there be any sort of deal cut by, say, April 1st? I think that's unlikely. And uh, the majority party, if, if they're not willing to negotiate, I think they, uh, they could be, unfortunately, squandering an opportunity to do some good things. Congressman Peter Rossman, thanks for joining us. Delighted.